Hello my dear students welcome to the Amazon Science Academy myself Minu Shivasta and today we are going to discuss about the unit 4th topic that is the design of aseptic area first the thing is that what is the aseptic area aseptic area is that particular area which has many mice microbial contamination generally the aseptic area uh, now uh, just aseptic area uh, just use for the preparation of uh, sterile preparations or in the parenteral preparations especially we design the aseptic area uh, now uh, the we will go for the definition area where in the strict control measure are followed to avoid microbial particulate contamination of the preparation okay so it's very as much essential for the sterile preparation and the parenteral preparation okay and here uh, i have written here aseptic area is a dot a okay i will use the symbol a dot a because uh, continuously repeatedly i am writing aseptic area it's uh, quite tedious for me so i am writing a dot a okay so here how we can uh, maintain the aseptic-ness in particular premises or particular area so there are certain aspect for that here just like the temperature humidity air pressure control uh, uh, suspended particulate material uh, temperature, humidity, air quality control, flow pattern, controlling suspended particulate. So such things we can control by this controlling such things we can control the contamination on a particular premises. Okay. So here the design of aseptic area. First thing that is the premises. The premises is that the aseptic area is quite um, away from the stairs, lift, corridors and the general manufacturing area and uh, okay so the aseptic area is quite uh, away from the such kind of that contamination or the uh, dust uh, dust uh, storing places so such uh, aseptic area is quite far from these places okay washing areas or the changing area uh, just before the entrance of the washing area and changing area before the entrance of aseptic area and the changing area just made before the aseptic area okay so here uh, what is the changing area and the uh, in the changing area uh, especially in the aseptic area the person which uh, going for work uh, he or she have to wear a complete gown a cap a face mask and all the all the body has to the cover okay so for that the person have to change their clothes so for that the changing area is used to be prepared okay now the size of the premises the size of the premises is like that that the maximum person can work at the time why is it so it's a quite uh, uh, we can say it's a quite uh, uh, um, controversial point that maximum area maximum persons can enter uh, uh, you should think like that if suppose that uh, uh, maximum persons can enter at a time and maximum person just exit at a time so uh, we can uh, interaction we can minimize the interaction how is it so if suppose that uh, the prima aseptic area is uh, less okay is has a less area and and the 10 persons are coming in one time and then 10 person exit again five persons coming then five person exit so uh, multiple interactions going on so to minimize such kind of the interaction the aseptic area is quite large to and uh, just accommodate maximum number of persons okay now how is the room facilities like that door uh, do if we will look out the door the door has a double door system and with has the air lock system okay uh, proper airlock system should be present in the doors so to prevent the air entering okay from outside into the aseptic area suppose that the air pressure um, uh, um, uh, i want to discuss that what kind of the air pressure we will maintain the air pressure in the aseptic area is maximum uh, is uh, uh, more the air pressure in the aseptic area will be the more as compared to the outer area so we can say it's a positive pressure Okay, positive air pressure means the pressure is more. So, in the aseptic area, the pressure will be more and the air flows from high pressure to low pressure. So, automatically the air flow from high to low pressure. So, uh, automatically the air move from the uh, uh, um, air move from uh, inside to the outside. Okay, so automatically contamination will proceed outward side. 
okay now the ventilation the ventilation is provided artificially artificially we will circulate the air okay we will not open the door and open the windows for the ventilation properly so our ventilation maintain artificially in the aseptic area now what about the floor wall benches top the four floor um, uh, walls benches tops and ceiling is just like that they will easy to clean they will smooth no cracks and no pores okay in the crack the dust particle can accommodate and it will germinate the germs okay here the flooring material the flooring material is must like be that that in uh, with the help of terrazzo preparation terrazzo preparation is a mixture of cement and the marble preparation so it will provide a smooth surface and it's very easy to clean and one preparation linoleum preparation is also there so it will it will provide the smooth cleaning okay the plastic laminate in the uh, in the aseptic area the plastic walls are present okay plastic in the sorry plastic laminates present on the wall so it is easy to clean the wall dust or wall contamination okay the ceiling is present at very low height so at the very low height it's present so it's very easy to clean okay now uh, the top of the working of the benches uh, it generally the top of the working benches and uh, top uh, present uh, is top is made with the stainless steel so with the help of uh, if it is present uh, if it is made with the stainless steel it is very easy to clean okay and if any screw is present it present under the surface okay it, uh, it present under the surface of the top okay and the plastic laminate is, is present it one complete sheet of the plastic should be used to make the surface of bench why is it the one plastic sheet i am hearing uh, uh, i am just discussing that one plastic sheet if is present then it's easy to clean and suppose that two plastic sheet is present on the one bench and at the present of that uh, joint area that uh, one groove is uh, from uh, formed so the dust will accommodate and it will proceed the germs or contamination so here i am uh, just writing here that plastic laminates one complete sheet just cover that complete top okay sink and drains uh, in uh, later on we will discuss about the grade in the aseptic area there are the four grades grade a grade b grade c grade d okay so in the grade a and grade b especially sinks and drains should be avoided as possible okay so here the grade a in the a particularly grade a and grade b, b area the sinks and drains are should be avoided as possible okay and the other rooms like changing rooms before entrance the uh, that aseptic area and the store room adjacent to the uh, sterile area sterile uh, uh, aseptic area where the all sterile equipments and products can be stored okay in the washing area and the in the store rooms especially uh, the all the equipments all the containers are uh, just uh, just kept on that uh, store room especially okay so here now it's a uh, complete design now we will see what is the layout basically and what are the grading system what is the grade a grade b grade c and grade d now we will discuss about the grading system the aseptic area will divide into four grades as per the operations performed in that area it's a grade a grade b grade c and the grade d in the grade a is highly uh, highly sterile conditions or the highly aseptic zone we can say because the main preparations are uh, because very high sterile condition highly sterile preparations will perform in the grade a area okay for high risk operations like filling and making the aseptic transfer now the grade b in the grade b it's a background of a what is the background background means uh, what happened in the grade a the in the grade a laminar air uh, air cabinet hepa filter is present installed it so back side that installation uh, area is present in the grade b okay so uh, the grade a is attached with the grade b and it's a just installed area where the laminar air flow hepa filter are installed it okay installed okay now the grade c it's a, in the grade c the sterile preparations in the filtration mainly the filtration work it's performed here in the group in the grade d the equipment handling like washing are and such things are performed in the grade d okay so like that the grade a grade b grade c and grade d are here now come to the uh, i have discussed about the one uh, i will uh, discuss about the layout what is the layout first is the material entry clean clean uh, changing room clean changing room okay and the component entry okay so here 
द क्लीन चेंजिंग रूम मटेरियल एंट्री क्लीन चेंजिंग रूम एंड दैट कॉम्पोनेंट एंट्री सो दीज आर द थ्री मेन वी कैन से एंट्री एंट्री इन द एसेप्टिक एरिया material entry it's for the just uh, materials what are the materials are going to be mixed and are the compounding for uh, for the materials which are used for the compounding and other preparations okay here there is a clean changing room so but in the uh, person which has to change that complete gown wear mask and all the things is performed in the clean changing room here the component entry here the what are the components other components we can enter here okay the material entry after this here the compounding and the preparation so will there where the primary work is done means all the mixing and all other things are going to be happen in the com compounding and preparation area after that the production area where the sterilization auto cleaving and other preparations are are performed okay here now the, after the compounding and pre uh, preparation room the after the production room is here the aseptic receiving area here the complete other uh, aseptic preparations are performed after that the here uh, here also one unidirectional cleaning zone means the materials or the components are which are uh, that containers are cleaning here we can clean the uh, that container after that the aseptic uh, receiving zone uh, receiving areas okay so aseptic receiving areas receive all the other conditions uh, sterile conditions we will perform and the other uh, the production work is performed here after a septic receiving area it will goes towards the quarantine areas the quar in the quarantine area we will keep the product just for a little bit time and after the quarantine area the product exit will be there there is one other entry gate in the quarantine zone so with the help of that entry gate we can exit the product uh, uh, we can just remove the product from that also from that gate also so this is the main uh, design of the aseptic area if you have any doubt kindly ask me in the comment section otherwise please like share and subscribe in the next lecture we will discuss about the sources of contamination